This is a Rodkay Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rodkay of Rodkay Mods, and in today's video I will be briefly explaining to you what an NVIDIA web driver is. Now I'm going to go into further detail about this in episode 24 of my Mac Pro series, but right now I'm just addressing this as the average Mac user would want to find out about. Now the NVIDIA web drivers allow you to use a newer NVIDIA graphics card in OS X slash Mac OS. Now at the time of filming this, Pascal GPUs are not supported. Hopefully NVIDIA will update this, but so far they haven't. So the newest card you can run is a Maxwell based card, or older of course. Now why do the web drivers exist? Well, it's because Apple hasn't made drivers for NVIDIA cards in quite some time. So, newer cards are not in the texts. This is not like ATI slash AMD cards, on the other hand. Apple is still using AMD cards in their Macs. So, all drivers are still based off the latest architectures. So, they all work. This is not the case with NVIDIA. I believe the most recent drivers that work natively with OS X slash Mac OS is for Fermi based cards which would have been the 400 and 500 series and some of the low end 600 series NVIDIA graphics cards. Otherwise drivers do not work. So you need the NVIDIA web drivers. Why would we want to run newer NVIDIA cards in our Macs? Well this is because it allows us to use things like CUDA. Any Mac that can use an external GPU or a first generation Mac Pro can run more recent NVIDIA cards like Maxwell cards and hopefully in the future Pascal cards through things like external eGPU boxes with lightning connections. Or of course in the first generation Mac Pro you can just plug them in. Now the NVIDIA web drivers have been released since OS X 10.6.8 and they support any card ever put into a Mac since the 8000 series. The NVIDIA web driver is like a Windows video driver except it's just injecting signed text files into the operating system allowing you to run newer cards. The reason why NVIDIA makes these is because for instance the Mac Pro the most recent card that was officially released for a Mac Pro by NVIDIA was the GTX 680 so they need to keep releasing drivers for it to allow you to keep using it in Mac OS. They also have been including newer cards into the drivers up until recently, but hopefully, like I said before, that will be fixed in the future. The web drivers are very handy because it allows Mac Pro users, anyone with eGPUs, and even Hackintosh users to have the full graphical experience, and it allows you to be able to install the CUDA drivers which are a separate entity that I will be covering in another video possibly. So like I said before NVIDIA has been doing these drivers since 10.6.8. 10.6.8 was the first OS X slash Mac OS to allow you to use PC cards in your Mac. Before then your Mac would just crash. It would not even boot up. Well, 10.6.8 came out with an update which allowed you to do that. It came out around the time of 10.7.3. 10.7.3 was the first official OS X to allow you to use PC cards. Now, web drivers get updated with every major revision and with every security update which changes the build number of OS X slash Mac OS. NVIDIA does not keep updating drivers past the most recently supported OS X slash Mac OS. So this means that older operating systems will not support the drivers whatsoever, so newer cards will not work. 
Now, Lion and 10.6.8 only supported up to the Fermi graphics cards, which was the 400, 500, and some of the 600 series. When Mountain Lion came out, they added support for Kepler architecture, but the 780 Ti and Titan Black were not supported and never got support. So in Mavericks, you got the support for the 780 Ti and GTX Titan Black. And that was the most recent video card supported in Mavericks. Yosemite was the first operating system to allow you to use Maxwell cards. And so far, that was the most recent NVIDIA card supported in any OS X slash Mac OS. To this day, they are still making graphics drivers for El Capitan, Yosemite, and even Sierra. So how do we get these drivers? Well, first off, you can go to macvidcards.com, and they have a download drivers section, which is okay, and will give you the most recent updates. But there's other ways to get it. You can go to NVIDIA's driver download website, and this is how you do it. Now, NVIDIA only allows you to download the web drivers with the supported cards. Now, the uh, most recent supported card by NVIDIA was the GTX 680. So, in driver downloads, you will want to go to the 600 series, then select GTX 680, and then you'll want to go and go to Show All Operating Systems. This will allow you to choose which drivers you need. And let's say we want to use El Capitan, which is what I'm running on my Mac Pro currently. We click Search, and it will give you the most recent driver release. Well, you click Download, and you install it like any regular Mac app, and then you can choose to run either the web driver or the default graphics driver. Now, if you're not using a dedicated GPU for boot screens and stuff, you'll need to first use that GPU, if you have a Mac Pro, for instance, to install the drivers. Otherwise, if you put in a new card that's not supported by the OS X graphics drivers, you'll just get a black screen and you won't be able to do anything. But once the web driver is installed, your card will work completely. I am running a GTX 970 on my Mac Pro, as we can see right here. And it works totally fine. In fact, we can even read the memory processes and stuff, and it totally works. This would not happen if I did not have the web driver. In fact, it would just look like this. And that's it. You'd never get any screen, and unless you have a dedicated GPU, like I do, your screens would just be black. This, I would just have the whole desktop right here, and that's it. And that's because I have a dedicated GPU. But since I have the web driver also, I have my full support too. Also, these drivers, like I said earlier, do not install CUDA support. And you'll need to download it by clicking here. And it will bring you to a site to give you the most recent CUDA release too. Now, of course, if you're running a older copy of OS X and you need an older copy of the web drivers, you'll have to go to Mac VidCards. I'll give a link to the driver page in the description. Like I said earlier, the web drivers will only support one version each. Now, I believe there has been some web drivers that have updated during a build type to fix problems. But, like I said earlier, if you're running, for instance, 10.11.5 instead of 6, you cannot run 10.6 as drivers. And you cannot run 10.11.5's drivers in 
10.11.6s. Although there is an actually a workaround, but it's very complicated and not worth it. So if you rely on having your NVIDIA card working, you have to wait until driver updates are released before you update to the newest version or security update that changes your build version. Anyway, so that's what the web drivers are. And in my Mac Pro series episode 24, I will be covering how to set up the web drivers. But right now we're just covering the general of Macs, whether you're running an eGPU through any means to run it, if you're running a Hackintosh, or even if you're running a Mac Pro. This covers the whole broad range of it. Anyway, so that is the end of the video. And thank you for watching. This has been a Rutke Mods video.